everyone. I am here with a sponsored video from Nordstrom and instead of doing a little fashion show upstairs in front of my new white background, today we're taking it to a very basic, very focused video. Today it is all about luxury lips, luxury lipsticks, luxury lip gloss, luxury liquid lipstick. I don't even know how to describe some of the luxury and I love Nordstrom. You know I love Nordstrom, but I love Nordstrom because there's always very affordable, well-priced items that can fit any kind of budget, like the shirt that you can barely see. This is one of their house brands, Caslon. It's around $20, and I've had this particular one for years and years and years, so they hold up well. But Nordstrom is also a place for luxury. If you want a high-end item, whether it's a designer bag, designer shoes, or in this case, I'd like to call it designer makeup, that's there too. So what I did was a little shopping over at Nordstrom. I did some online and some in person, and I picked up five new lip products, let's say, that I wanted to do a little demo and talk a little bit about. So I have all my makeup on. I had lip balm on. Lips are a little dry. I've been breathing through my mouth. We're in allergy season. So also want to note that complexion was going well until I tested out a new foundation. It's not what I have on now, but Skin is not what I would like it to be. We're getting there. Okay, we're gonna start with the lightest color. Let's just go with this. This is an offering from Clay Depot. I have one product from Clay Depot that I have repurchased twice now. It's the Clay Depot Stick Concealer. There is nothing better for concealing blemishes. It is a must have. It's expensive, it's $70. This is, I'm going off on tangent on this concealer, but it is well worth the price tag, will last you at least a year. So, knowing that, I'd read a lot about this product online. It is the Clay Depot Beauty Refined Lip Luminizer. I wanna make sure I got that very long name right. I picked it up in the shade Old Rose. The reviews on this, if you go to the Nordstrom website, the reviews are incredible. What I found really helpful when I was looking online is that every shade has a picture of three different skin tone women wearing it so I can get an approximation of what the color was because this wasn't available in my store. What is unique about this particular product is, is a three-in-one. It's a lip treatment, a lip gloss, and a long-lasting lipstick. So enough talk. It's a very skinny little tube. There it is. Now, one of the precautions on this is when you roll it up, don't roll it up or click it up more than three millimeters because you cannot retract it. So make sure that you don't overextend. Let me just, let me put it on. There's a lot of talk. This is the most pleasant lip product I have ever put on my lips. So what's unique about this incredibly moisturizing product, it has argan oil. That's the, not the unique part. It has the ability to basically melt into your lips when applied at body temperature. And it feels so luxurious and so glossy and so pretty. You just want to keep doing this. It's amazing. I feel like this is the best your lips but better shade. It just makes them look a little more full, a little plumper because of the gloss. It's not over the top. Let me confirm a scent. It is the faintest of just sort of clean scents. It's not a sugary or a sweet kind of scent, but it's, it's really, you can, I would almost say no scent. It's so hard to detect. So I got this in Old Rose, but there were a couple other colors that caught my eye. Sweet Satin and Damson Jelly were also colors that were very appealing to me. I don't wanna take this off to show you the next one. As glossy as it is, it does stay. I don't know if it stays a full eight hours, but it's definitely hours worth. And if you want it to last just a tiny bit longer, I suggest a lip liner. I would use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. This would be a perfect match. But we need to talk about the next one. To remove all of these, by the way, I'm using the Clinique stick version of Take the Day Off Balm. I'm fairly certain it was not meant for this, but I think it's for eye makeup, but it works great for taking off lips as well. I was so intrigued by all the different lip products that Clay Depot had because all of them were rated really well, so I bought another one. This one, let me get this name right, it's the Clay Depot Radiant Liquid Rouge Shine Liquid Lipstick. I have it in the shade Sugar Jelly. It's basically a very classic liquid lipstick. Lasts up to six hours. It's supposed to be super smooth on the lips. It's a very typical um, kind of chiseled doe foot applicator. The website says that it's supposed to remind you of an artist's palette, the knife on a palette. So we're gonna use the tip. It says to start from the corners and move into the center. That 
that's one coat. It feels very luxurious and very moisturizing on the lips. It basically feels like a glossy lipstick. Let me add one more coat. So this is just a beautiful lipstick. It's very, very creamy. So if you're worried about it moving at all, I haven't personally experienced that, but I would definitely match it up with a lip liner if you're a little worried because it is very creamy and very moisturizing. It doesn't feel like a typical liquid lipstick and that it's not drying down matte. It's gonna retain this glossy finish. And I would say it, from wearing it a few times, it's pretty close to six hours. I mean, if you're eating a lot and drinking a lot, that's going to affect the wear time, but it sits really nicely on the lips and doesn't dry them down. If you've been a long time viewer, then you know my all time favorite liquid lipstick, and I mean it in the true, truest sense of the word, like a lip, it feels like they melted a lipstick bullet, was the YSL Glossy Lip Stain, which hasn't been completely phased out, but definitely has taken a backseat to other newer launches. And so you'll see a theme here. I'm still trying to replace that. And I think I found a few options. I definitely, I know I definitely did. And one of them that I'd actually picked up a while back, and this is the danger of doing a lot of makeup videos is you forget what you have, is what I picked up from Dior years ago. This is the Dior Addict Lip Plumping Ink. Nope, forgot a word. It is the Dior Addict Lip Plumping Lacquer Ink. There we go. This is more of a hybrid of a stain and a jelly gloss. So years ago, I picked this one up in Pretty, and it is pretty. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand because it is a stain as well. Uh, I wanna save my lips here, but it's a really beautiful, it dries down to more of a softer pink. It's not quite as bright as what you're seeing. Recently, I went back to Nordstrom to pick up another one. This is in the shade Glitterati, and it's a very soft kind of mauvey nude with definite micro glitter in it. Now, if the glitter throws you off, I wanted something that looked like it still had shine even after the glossy part wore down, that's why I picked the glitter. If the glitter throws you off, which I, let me just show you and then we can talk about it. There is a shade very similar without the glitter. This is definitely more of a liquid lipstick feel. It's very thin in weight. It's cool on the lips. I love this color. I think this is a great shade, of course, year round, but especially fall, it just has a little more plummy tone to it. And you can see how the glitter in it, it's drying down, but it still makes my lips look a little bit reflective and glossy, even though pretty much the gloss part has died down. This is the Dior Addict Lip Plumping Lacquer Ink in Glitterati. So when you think of luxury makeup or luxury in general, Tom Ford is definitely a name that comes top of mind. And I had to grab this. This is their version of a liquid lipstick called the Lip Lacquer Luxe. And it comes in two finishes, a matte or a vinyl, which is more like a traditional lipstick. I got the shade in vinyl, so the glossy side, Intimate. I also really liked um, Insinuate, but they were sold out. Similar applicator to everybody else. Doe foot comes to a point. In fact, all of them pretty much have the same applicator. This one's consistency is much more similar to the Clay de Peau liquid lipstick. It literally feels like you are spreading on a lipstick bullet that has been melted. It's a much thicker, creamier formula. This, like I said, is the vinyl. It feels really nice on the lips. It is not drying at all. And I can tell you that this stuff does not budge. I'm kind of dreading taking this off to put on the last thing I want to show you. But the packaging you know, is gorgeous. Your typical, beautiful Tom Ford packaging there. Lots of shade options. I went for more wearable every day, but honestly, if you wanna get the most bang for your buck, you're afraid to wear those really bright colors because you're afraid of them moving around on your face, these liquid type lipsticks are perfect for exploring brighter, more vibrant hues. I should add, I really don't feel like I need a lip liner with this at all. When I've been wearing it, it didn't bleed or feather into my lines or just smear around my face. It held up through eating. I had to physically take it off at the end of the day, but it didn't feel, like I said, like one of those traditional liquid matte type ones. Now, I haven't personally tried the matte version of this, but in my reading and reviews, not drying at all. So I'm, I'm very interested on this one. 
Now this last one that I want to show you is not technically, I think, considered luxury. When I think of luxury, I think of like, like I said, Tom Ford, Clay de Poe, Chantecaille, Dior, Armani, Chanel, Sicily, La Prairie, you know, really, really, really high end. This is still department store. And honestly, I feel like the packaging is very luxurious. It feels luxurious. It's just at a slightly lower price point, And it's the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. I think it's called Kissable Lip Gloss lip shine, I apologize. And I picked it up in the shade Flash Fire. Now again, the packaging is beautiful. It's pretty to look at. This has hyaluronic acid in it. It is a lip gloss that just adds beautiful shine. This is a traditional actual brush. It is not a doe foot applicator. Obviously my lips are a little bit redder than when we started this video, but you just see how pretty this is just all by itself. If you wanted to line your lips, fill them in and then layer this on top or put this on top of a lipstick, it would be a beautiful, warm, soft, almost berry shade. Just a really pretty fall shade. Something else I really love about Estee Lauder lip glosses, they smell really good. They're sweet, like candy, kind of vanilla frosting. They're delicious. So. That's great if you love scent. If you don't love scent, some of the other things I showed you actually don't have a scent, but I did want to tell you if you're into that, these smell and taste delicious. Okay, before I say goodbye, I wanted to swatch every single shade that I just showed you and so you can see them all together. So at the very top, we have the Estee Lauder lip gloss. Then we have the Clay de Peau stick. Then we have the Clay de Peau, um, the liquid lipstick. Then we have the newest Dior lip shade. Then we have the one that I bought before. And at the very bottom is the new Tom Ford liquid lipstick that I just had on. As you know, swatches really don't tell you how they're gonna translate onto your lips, how they're gonna look on your face with your skin tone. You might not live near Nordstrom or your Nordstrom might not have a counter for all of these brands. So I highly encourage you to do what I did, which was to go onto the Nordstrom website and read the reviews, look at the swatches online. Most of them, all of these brands, show you what they look like on uh, different skin tones. They have all the swatches on different arms. It's really helpful. I am not displeased with, I mean, it was just so dead on to everything that I was looking for. It could not have been an easier experience and I got free samples with my purchase. So that was kind of a win-win. So that is my little foray into luxury lip products. I'd love to hear from you. What are your absolute favorites? We're looking at high-end brands like these luxury ones, even if it's not a brand I mentioned, I wanna hear from you, what are your favorites? I can never have enough lip products. That seems to be, I think all of us have that problem. And if you look in my purse, it looks like a Nordstrom Beauty department in there. I have so many lipsticks, I just can't stop myself. So, always looking for excuses to buy another one. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. Thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. Thank you to all of you who give me these opportunities and make them a reality. And I will see you in the next video.